India is an adventurous paradise. You head out for a holiday, which quickly turns into a survival situation. A dream turns into a nightmare. I'm thirsty, I'm tired, I'm hungry and I'm lost. Shelter, water and food become a priority. A fire to keep you warm. But how? I'm Chandan Lahiri from OTS Survival School. I'll give you some tips and show you some tricks to use in a self-reliant situation. Do not think problems can only happen to other people. It can happen to you. Do you know where I'm standing? No, I'm not asking about whether it's the mountain or a jungle or the sea, not even the state or the city or the village that I'm standing in. I'm talking about the geographic coordinates, my latitude and longitude. Do you know that? Probably not. Neither do I. But there is one way I can figure out what my coordinates are. Let's take latitude, for instance. And as an adventurer, if you get lost and you have to signal uh, to a rescue party, if you can give them your coordinates, your latitude and your longitude, your rescue will happen so much faster because you can be located to almost a few feet. And here's one way you can ring up a primitive sextant to figure out what your exact latitude is. Take a look. What we're trying to do is figure out almost to a degree the exact latitude of the position that we are at. Okay. And what we are trying to do with these two sticks is trying to replicate a sextant. A sextant is what sailors use to tell latitude, and what we are trying to do is tell latitude using the sextants. Now, the way we are sitting, the way these two sticks are aligned, they're aligned exactly in a straight line to the North Star, and the North Star is the only star in the night sky which does not move from its position. So, as long as you know where the North Star is, you know where North is. Now, what we need to do is find the North Star, and like we have done here, lay two sticks in a straight line with the North Star. So now, I'm sitting here, that's the first stick, that's the second stick, and if we draw a straight line, we'll reach the North Star. Now what I need to do is align that stick, which is away from me, and the top of that stick to the North Star. So that the North Star, the top of that stick, and my eye are at the same level. And since I'll be moving, what I'll do is I'll use this stick to draw that line. So, if I look at the North Star, and I can see it there, and I align it at the top of that pole, and put my finger on this pole, and take it down, and draw a line, which will align the North Pole, the top of that stick, and the top of my thumb, in a straight line. That's where I need to stop. Okay. Right? So that's the first thing I need to do. Now I can't move my finger. Now what you'll need to do is give me a piece of cord. So now this knot, the top of that pole and the North Star are in a straight line. Now what we'll do is tie the other end of the cord parallel to the ground on the other stick. The first thing we'll do is tie this end of the rope to the top of this pole because that's where my line is. All right. Now, we don't need to know exactly what it is. Now, this end of this cord, we'll put where this knot is, which is here. Now, both poles are straight. Yes. Both cords are straight. Yes. And what do we have? We have a triangle. This cord is parallel to the ground. This point is where I can pull a line from here to the top of that pole to the North Star, which is what we have done with this cord. So this cord and this cord, they're forming an angle. Now this angle is almost exactly our latitude. If I look at it, and I don't have a protractor, this looks to be about 25, 30 degrees. And last time I checked, on my GPS, our location is 26 degrees latitude north. Learn to adapt, improvise, innovate, and overcome. To learn more tips and tricks, visit this site. I'm Chandan Lahiri, and I hope to see you soon at the OTS Survival School. Leave nothing but footprints, bring back nothing but memories.